SMT Nation, let's do it, man. We're going to do some testing here. Uh, the site is, we're in Westlake, Ohio, just so you guys know. Uh, estimate the range here, let's see. I'd say probably about a half a mile, maybe. Mm, yeah, I'd say it's about a half a mile. Let me see if I can get you guys a decent zoom. By the way, recording this on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. All right, it's having trouble with this um, with the zoom. We're pretty far. Uh, looks like just maybe at and at the top. It's hard to tell. Uh, anyways, definitely T-Mobile. I've tested the site before, but it's been a while. All right, so we're going to test it on the iPhone 14 Pro Max right here. The site, I mean, it's it was good the last time I tested it, but, uh, you know, sometimes they do some optimizing, and then sometimes you get some more usage on tower sites, so it's good to test it, come back to them. Yeah, we're over on Detroit Road and Canterbury Road, Westlake, Ohio, over by the Clean Eats, whatever that is, and great clips and such. All right, 20 ping, four jitter, 643 down, 53.8 up. All right, so that's your iPhone. Uh, let's go ahead and just test it on Android here. We got the Google Pixel 6 Pro, 15 ping, one jitter. Uh, we'll see if the speeds and the capacity and the range and everything is somewhat comparable. Okay, so 643 by 54 on the iPhone, and then... 605 by 37, 38 megabits up, 39, 40, almost 40. All right, so they're pretty close. Uh, I will say that the iPhone is a little bit better uh, with the ping times being a little bit better, I guess, on the on the Pixel. Okay, all right, so uh, just to make it official, let's go ahead and hit the end perf and let's see what it's good for. Uh, what I've always liked about the NPERF is it tests a lot of stuff like browsing and video playback resolution and all that. So with the with this, you kind of get a, a nice scope of what it's good for. And this time we got actually a lot more speed on the downlink. Uh, the ping time doesn't mean too much to me relative to this test only because I don't think it's reflective of what it really is. Because for whatever reason, the servers that are selected for on the NPERF just always really bad so anyway signal strength is strong uh, performance was pretty fast so the expectation is that things should be pretty good and testing it for all these different things all right so we just got the browsing test on the speed test was first and now it's going to do the video resolution playback test and it'll test the 360p the 720p and then the 1080p oh dang we've got an ambulance or fire let's see yep it's fire Hopefully everything is okay. Westlake Fire Department, big shout out to them. All right, we're still in the 5G UCU. It's about 4 p.m., by the way, folks. The Browns just lost. They suck. Stinkers, man. Lost to the New England Patriots. At all the teams. Is there another one coming? I don't know. Same ambulance. Okay, 723 down, 44 up. 82% on the browsing percentage, 90% on the video streaming percentage. Those are really good. 122,000 endpoints. All right, folks, this is a good showing from T-Mobile. All right, good stuff here. Nperf, Ookla, they did really well. Um, I don't have any qualms with that. I think it's really good. So that site was upgraded last year, still performing like a champ. I'd say that's a winner. By the way, we're on a uh, we're on a Los Magenta. We're on the business Magenta Max equivalent, whatever that is. Uh, I'll just go ahead and give you guys the fast.com look uh, for those of you who want to see like the on the fast.com servers. So if you had to like download a quick episode of your favorite show before you hopped on a plane or something, you know what would that look like? Pretty dang good, huh? Wow. I've always wondered the variance that you get out of fast.com. Why is that? <laughs> yeah, you get, it's usually like faster. You get these crazy bursts and stuff like that. All right, good stuff from T-Mobile here. 33 ping. We got 760 megabits down and 63 up. Good showing by T-Mobile. Comment down below 
What do you guys see on your T-Mobile's 5G UC test? Are they faster than mine? Are they slower than mine? Based on that range, we're about a half a mile away, so ideal conditions for sure. Uh, but if you were in one of those businesses, if you were getting uh, indoor usage here, I, I think you'd be plenty good. I think you would connect to the 5GC pretty well, and it seems to be performing well. Comment down below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Hit that join button. Become a member of the SMT YouTube channel. Memberships, you get perks and benefits and add-ons. Stuff for supporting us, support your favorite creators. Uh, there's stuff going on with the channel besides that as well. Uh, the Patreon page, the Twitter handle, those are in the description. And then my Gmail address for all business inquiries. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.